Oh, you know what? This. Well, I got you guys with the Sharpie going. Uh, yeah. More some of those Sharpie lesson. moments. Metaphysics lesson? Yeah, exactly. Metaphysics. Little physics BS. Alright, you know what? Look, alright. Alright. So I got this. We got the, let's, let's talk about the relationship between the fluid cap and the fluid tip. So on this brush, what they've done is here's your fluid tip and you have the opening inside for the needle. And uh, what they've done is actually machine this whole piece out of one piece of uh, brass. In the previous days of owning our rich pens and the Iwatas, we would always snap off the fluid tip right here. But what they've done is made this whole one piece. And it's really smart because I can polish this whole area and create the least amount of turbulence with the airflow over this. Now, with the, the air cap, which we're going to draw now, It'll say, come on like this, get the threads for your crown king, crown tip, and then you get the cap, and then you get the knurling back here for attachment. It's real crude. But I think it's going to drive the point home. Because this brush has an O-ring back here, the distance and the relationship between the fluid tip here and the air cap there change with how tight you make and how much compression you put on this O-ring. So it's, like we were talking about earlier, it's, it's kind of like a, an aperture of a lens, uh, kind of like a focal point of a camera lens, and you're able to actually dial this in, and from the, say, like the end respect drawing, the air cap, and your fluid tip kind of comes through here. What's happening is this distance between the tip and your fluid cap is what's changing by the compression rate and how much tension or compression you put on this O-ring. And it's really easy to over tighten these. And what happens is when you change this dimension or you squeeze this thing down to like this instead of this, you're actually impeding the airflow in this, how black it is in the distance between the air cap and the fluid tip. If you look at the inside shape of this, it's actually concentric and kind of runs with an offset, offset path. It's very similar to the contour of the fluid tip. And so by changing this relationship in the distance of the O-ring, you're actually compressing this whole air cap back this direction and impeding the airflow that allowed with a very minimal amount around the side of this. So you can actually choke this off completely and change the dynamics of the airflow. And what I've done is rotated, like I was telling you guys earlier, rotating a quarter to a half a turn to find a sweet spot on it. So it's really easy and painfully obvious once you uh, do it. And it's been the biggest, probably the simplest correction that we've been able to make on the airbrush over the phone. As it's become something of you know a non-concern when you're dealing with uh, the Japanese manufactured brushes, the way they designed it. Uh, there is no changing in that. The, the aperture actually, the opening of the nozzle is considerably past the end of the uh, air cap. And that's one of the reasons why also when your airbrush hits the floor, boom, bam, this is totally destroyed. It takes out this, takes out this, and it takes out this. Your needle looks something like that. <laughs> but, uh, so, <laughs> a little exaggeration. So anyways, with the way this design is, there's a threshold here on the on the pache and what they've done here, and this is true for all the talons as well as the mojo, there's a very small tolerance there. So if you over compress or over tighten this air cap, I feel like John Madden here and I got XOs here, X, X, XOs. He goes around that way, that guy goes that this way, this guy's over here, this guy goes that way, and he's over there. So anyways, this distance is very crucial. You'll find that it's a Real easy adjustment to make on the brush. If your brush is giving you any sort of strange feeling, this is where you first start right there. So, 
we've been working on changing the chamfering, the edges and everything inside the fluid tip so that you've got the least amount of resistance and turbulence as the air makes its exit between the fluid cap and the air cap. It's that little area right between here. So I hope that explains it. That's my... <laughs> <laughs> Does that make any sense or what? I'm sure it did to somebody. The XOs, XOs, they're working. I think football players will appreciate it. You know, X that way, O that way. It's not love, hug, and kisses, it's XO, XO. So, back to the name of the game, and that is airbrushing.